Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you are creating your publications, you will often need to add pages to hold more content, especially if you are creating a new blank publication from scratch. Before you insert a page, you will most likely want to select the page in the navigation pane where the page immediately before the position at which you want to insert a new page. While it is possible to insert pages before a selected page, they are more commonly inserted after a selected page. Next, click the Insert tab within the ribbon. To insert a new blank page immediately following the page that is currently selected in your publication, you can simply click the Page button within the Pages button group. This new page will automatically appear selected within the navigation pane and in the page design area so that you can immediately begin creating content for it. In addition to inserting a new blank page into your publication, you could also choose to insert a duplicate of a selected page. To do this, simply select the page that you wish to duplicate within the navigation pane. Then click the drop down arrow button below the page button within the Pages button group. From the drop down menu of choices shown, simply select the Insert Duplicate Page command to insert a duplicate of the currently selected page into your publication. Note that this page will also appear immediately following the initially selected page and will also be immediately selected within the navigation pane and thus appear on screen for editing as well. Note that if you wish to move the duplicate page to a new location within your publication, you can simply click and drag the page shown within the navigation pane to its new desired location. As you click and drag, you will see a dark, thin line appear between the existing pages so that you will be able to tell where the page will insert itself when you release the mouse button. Note that when you click the drop-down arrow below the Page button within the Pages button group, you will see three command choices. The first is Insert Blank Page and functions the same way as directly clicking the Page button. The second is Insert Duplicate Page and this will insert a duplicate of the selected page. The third choice is Insert Page. You can select the Insert Page command to open up the Insert Page dialog box. This dialog box allows you to insert multiple pages either before or after the currently selected page and also allows you to choose what content will be placed onto those pages. At the top of the Insert Page dialog box, enter the number of new pages that you wish to insert into the Number of New Pages text box. Next, select whether the new pages are to be inserted before or after the currently selected page by choosing the desired option button. In the Options section, you can then determine the page content by selecting the desired option button. You can select to insert blank pages, insert pages that contain one text box on each page, or insert pages that are a duplicate of the selected page. Note that if you choose the third option, you will need to enter the page whose content you wish to duplicate into the text box that follows the Duplicate All Objects on Page box. When you have made your selections, simply click the OK button to insert the selected pages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.